Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Stimology. Today we are going to do a science project and in the science project we are going to do a solar eclipse model. So what all you will need is a source of light and two different size balls. One has to be big and one has to be smaller than the big ball. So what you will need so the source of light will act like the sun the small ball will act like the moon and the big ball will act like the earth so what so first to do this experiment we need to keep all of them in a straight line we all of them are kept in a straight line now before doing a little bit anymore let's first know what is solar eclipse when the rays of the sun are blocked by the moon which creates a shadow on the earth is called a solar eclipse it happens when all the three heavenly bodies are in exactly in a straight line there are two types of solar eclipses they are total solar eclipse and partial solar eclipse so total solar eclipse is when so to understand the total solar eclipse we need to know what is umbra and penumbra so don't do anything yet just this is just for demonstration so the darkest part which you can see in the shadow the darker the darkest part of the shadow cast by the moon darkest part of the that is called umbra and like the outline of the shadow which is not fully dark or not fully light that is the penumbra region people studying in umbra region will experience total, total solar eclipse and people standing in the penumbra region will experience partial solar eclipse so and also it is very dangerous to view it with naked eyes we should use special goggles and it is still not even safe to look with dark glasses also solar eclipse only lasts for a few minutes okay so now we will do the solar eclipse model so for that we need to lift lift little bit the moon up because it, the shadow will cast a little bit below and then we have to adjust it and now as you can see there is like a shadow which is cast and if i hold it still yeah and you can see the dark part of the shadow and the light part of the shadow also it needs to be in a dark room because if it is in a room with light it will not work so you can see the umbra and the penumbra but you can if you place it on the ground ground also you can see but the shadow is below so if you want you can place it on the ground but the shadow will be little bit below so you need to look from little below so you can see these lines that are there that is that like the like that is what happens solar eclipse and now it is the second part of the video which talks about lunar eclipse Lunar eclipse is just the opposite. It is when the earth comes in between the moon and the sun and it blocks the light. So you can see this big red ball is now of the earth and this is the, still the moon and it's completely blocked. And now I will show you how partial lunar eclipse looks like. So if it it, it, is, it will look like this half of it or let few some part of it is on the shadow and half and some part of it is not on the shadow that is called partial lunar eclipse and when it is in the middle it is a total lunar eclipse so, okay so what does lunar eclipse actually mean lunar eclipse means when the earth blocks the light of the sun from reaching the moon here you are some here you are thinking, do you know here what color of the moon it will be? Is it black? No, it is not. It will not be black. You are because it is 
because light is made up of seven colors and moon and the it is like earth is actually like a prism and all the colors are getting split the earth shadow appears to be very dark and because of that the earth the, like the moon is reflecting the red color that is why it's becoming red and we call that red moon or blood moon don't need to worry red moon is as simple, is same as blood moon now it is an interesting thing there is a special kind of eclipse that special eclipse is called an annular eclipse so this i did not show in model but annular eclipse is when the moon it is like similar to solar eclipse but it is like when you're standing on earth in the umbra region and you are seeing from there you will see like a ring which are like ring that ring that ring is like called annular eclipse and that eclipse is more dangerous to view with naked eyes like more dangerous it is more dangerous as compared to solar eclipse but still it's not worth seeing with naked eyes as it can cause permanent it can cause permanent damage of eyes due to the radiation emitted and this that that cannot be explained model and it is like a ring and it is actually very cool to look at but it happens rarely solar eclipse happens in every 18 months and annual and lunar eclipse lasts for few hours so you can see and that's all for today so bye guys see you next time in my next video don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell to get the latest update of all the new videos don't forget don't forget to leave a like and give a comment bye guys see you next time